Hello everybody and welcome to Drew in the Moment. We are here in Claremont, Florida at the Ever Afters Estate. Uh, this place is insane. It is on 62 acres of land. It sleeps over 40 and I'll tell you right now, there is an abundance of things to do on this property for fun and just relaxing. We think you guys are going to be really happy that you guys uh, check this video out today. I can't wait to show you guys. There is so much to show, uh, so we're not going to waste any more time. But I do want to thank Orlando Area Luxury Resorts for inviting us out today so we can capture this and show you guys how cool this place is. So uh, let's, uh, let's go check this place out. Let's go. I figured I would start off the video in the same room, you know, that I just was in. This is uh, one of like a few of the living rooms that they have so much space. And I'll tell you right now, all of the theming in these luxury rentals, this is our third video we've done with Orlando area luxury resorts. And just the attention to detail is always just insanely insanely like meticulous it is amazing and i wanted to show you guys they have a fortune teller that you can actually get your fortune told and it costs you no money the games that you're going to play here you don't pay for them they're all included and this is one of the newer areas that they have uh included here and made you know for the theming it's adrian's italian restaurante so awesome the, the really cool thing for me though, I have to admit, is the fact that they have Sweeney Todd. <laughs> they have a Sweeney Todd themed area right here. Look at this, you got the, the world's famous meat pies. Uh, I'm actually a, uh, a huge fan of Sweeney Todd. And right up here, if you guys can see it, Sweeney Todd's up there. He, he's giving shaves right now, so I wouldn't suggest uh, getting a shave, you know, up there. I, I just wouldn't. I mean, look at look at the menacing look on his face. I wouldn't trust that. I wouldn't trust that. And look, you got Gizmo up there. That's awesome. So cool, man. And don't be fooled. This is not a cinema. Is it, Queen V? <laughs> Are you excited to be here? This place. I'm gonna get some pie. You know, I've heard bad things about those pies, so I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna avoid that. Maybe we'll. Chicken Yeah, yeah. Maybe, but maybe we'll go get a chicken pot pie uh, somewhere else. <laughs> All right. So don't be fooled. It's not a cinema. What it is is the first room that we're gonna go in. Look at all of the little balloons up there. Ooh, I like that picture. Check that out. Oh, that is cool. It's like. 3D. That is insanely cool, man. But yeah, you got like the the beach kind of vibe. But yeah, just just so much space. This is you know like one master bedroom. Pretty pretty fancy, huh? Very fancy. Very and then fancy. what's even more fancy? But this is really the awesomeness. I love this bathroom i mean it is just gigantic another you know beachy themed thing going on here the tub is just huge it's got jets you got a stand up shower it's this thing's awesome so now we're coming back down near the new york area i wanted to show you we even got boston representing here cheers so cool where everybody knows your name. And you know, we've kind of stolen that mantra for here at Drew in the Moment on the channel. You know, we want that honestly to be feeling like where everybody knows your name on the channel. But now we're gonna go into an awesome room. This is, uh, I believe, one of the new rooms that they actually have done. It's the Pirates of the Caribbean room. And don't be fooled as well, because this is also a, a, an escape room. How cool is that? I've actually personally never done an escape room, uh, but I think this would be a fun one to, uh, to do. I mean, it's all pirates themed. How do you go wrong with that? 
but I'm telling you, I mean, this, this uh, escape room, this is just one of so many things that you can do here at this rental uh, to keep you busy. Uh, like today, it's actually raining outside. At some point, we're gonna show you guys outside in the pool and everything, uh, but just, it's one of those uh, you know realizations that if you stay on this property, you will not run out of things to do. There's so many things to do, you will, you will not be able to do them all. But now, uh, let's go check out the kitchen. I wanna show you how awesome that kitchen is. So, this is called the Eat, Pray, Love Kitchen. It is gigantic. They have, uh, I always love to show, you know, the things that they have, like amenities and stuff, like uh, air fryer, they have two microwaves, they got a Keurig coffee maker, dishes, plates, every single thing you would need for your stay here. You know, look at this. And these fans, I have never seen this in my life, and I just thought it was really, really cool. Uh, they're like jet engine fans, right, Queen? Aren't these yes, just amazing? Yeah, so powerful. I love that. Very powerful. They work very well. Um, but yeah, I, I just I, I thought that was noteworthy. And they they you know, got your stove top. You got your fridge. Beautiful kitchen. Just gorgeous kitchen to have your dining experience. So now we have arcade Flynn and lip wax. This is such a cute little like nook area it's so oh the vibe is so cool in here you got a real working jukebox you got the mini pool table they also have a regular size pool table outside you've got chess for you chess folks I, i'm telling you guys you're not gonna run out of things to do chinese checkers uh oh my gosh we got monopoly and like the really really nice version of monopoly that is so cool the game room and over here for you pac-man fanatics they got the sit down pac-man game and look i'll just give you guys a little sneak peek out on the property right over there that's a carousel a actual working little carousel and that's one of three that they have here on the property and i love this artwork that's beautiful just such a cool, you know, pool room kind of uh, kind of vibe going on in here. So awesome. So now we're on the second floor. Before we go down to the first floor of this of, of this main house, because there's actually three uh, houses. So this is the main house. But I wanted to show you guys outside on this amazing porch. This thing is gigantic. Gigantic! Look at this. You got seating out here. It's all netted or you know screened in over here. I mean, you got chairs, and then you got the swinging chair. Just a nice place to wake up in the morning, have a nice hot bevy or a cold bevy. You know, if it's uh, if it's a hot day. But yeah, you know, I might as well give you guys a little sneak peek. Now we're a little closer. You know to the outside. We are now on the first floor, but I wanted to show you because we were just up here, but I just thought this was awesome. These are all uh, license plates with movie titles on them. And I found this one that I thought was pretty darn cool. The Ecto-2. I just thought that was, uh, you know, that's a cool detail. And this is just showing you, uh, you know, how much thought and, and love and care that they put into uh, into their rentals. So here we are on the first floor. This is another living room. But the cool thing about this living room is the fact that it's a game in here as well. There's like, I don't remember the exact amount of uh, movies that are, you know, displayed here. But like right here, you get the mask. But like, it's a game where you have to find all of the like, you know, props or whatever from the movies and they're all over the place. It is just crazy. So that's another game you can play. Oh, look, Queen found 
Oh, I forgot the name. I know it's a little shop of horrors, but I forgot the name of the uh, of the character. No, no, it's uh, oh my gosh. I let us know in the comments. I know I'm gonna remember this after we're done filming, right? I, I know it too. And look at Slimer. How cool is that? That is just that is just awesome. I love it. Everything is just awesome here. And then you got a gremlin up there. I'm telling you, the theming is great. And this is the thing that really made me happy. I'm a huge Edward Scissorhands fan. I just thought that was so cool. Oh, that's awesome. So now I will saunter into the air hockey room is what I'm gonna call it. So they got air hockey, and like I said, none of these games cost money. You, you just come and play them. You got, you know, Star Wars Arcade. I kind of messed around with that earlier. Uh, super fun, crazy taxi. You got a restroom here, multiple restrooms. Then we have Galaga and Miss Pac-Man. So they got some cool, like, retro type games as well. You know, they have PlayStations here, Xboxes, but uh, it's these old school, like, kind of arcade games that, uh, that I'm all about. I really, really like that. We gotta keep this thing going. There's so much to show, just like The Shining. <laughs> that, is, that is so crazy. Look at him peeking. Look at him peeking. He's watching us. But yeah, you gotta look all over. I mean, you got, uh, you know, uh, Back to the Future stuff here. Look at that, you got a Stormtrooper, he didn't make it. And then this was a cool door to one of my all-time favorite Pixar movies, Monsters, Inc. Thought that was just a great detail. And you feel like a movie star. Like, I feel like, you know, like you're like at a movie theater. But now, I wanna show you guys, I know, some folks are gonna be geeking out a little bit. We've got a Harry Potter themed room. How awesome is this? Oh, I love it. I, I, I do enjoy Harry Potter quite a bit. And apparently it is the Gryffindor room. It's just, isn't this cool, Queen? I love it. I love it. Oh, the robe. I get it. Robe. Try it on, try it on, try on the robe. So you got robes, guys, so you can uh, play around. Also, a broom, look, let me get you the broom, queen. You got a broom, look at that. You can play, uh, oh my gosh, what is it called? Quidditch. Oh. Yeah, you can play Quidditch, you look so nice. You look so nice. Okay. Yeah, so you it's got, so you know. fun, like each room has something like to do, interaction, I love that. That's what I was saying, there's always something to do in these rooms, in this, in, in these rentals, it's insane. And just the artists that are painting these murals in, in this, in this rental are just absolutely stunning. They're beautiful, a lot of detail, a lot of heart goes into it. Just great theming throughout. <laughs> and you already find the room. Point for Gryffindor! Woo! <laughs> yeah, man, you gotta have fun, right? Isn't that the point of everything? Have a good time. Like, this is just fun, you know, for big kids like me or, you know, younger kids that just wanna play around and play Harry, Harry Potter or whatever. So much fun. All right, I gotta take off. <laughs> On to the next room, now showing the Fight Club. But it's not the Fight Club, this is actually called The Pitch Perfect Room, which is a movie I've actually never seen, but it's always a disco going on in here with all the disco lights. Whoop, whoop. It's always so much fun. Doggone, oh, that doggone sound stage, I'll tell you what. So cool. Go up there, be a singer, get your bass on, get your bass guitar on, and another, uh, you know, um, bunk bed. So you get two, you know, two sleeps two in here. And look, they got a, rec a record clock. I love that. That is awesome. And look at the crowd going wild. Woo! 
Crowd's going wild. Testing, testing. Oh, sing, sing us testing. a. One, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three, one, two, three. Everybody was disco dancing. Ba -da 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 -da. That was the main house, and now we are coming out to the beautiful pool area. Just wanted to show you guys some of the seating that you have available. You got a little tiki bar over there. Some nice little dining with uh, some stool chairs. You got a mini fridge over here. You got a sink. And you've got your chef. And let me tell you what, whatever he's cooking, it looks good. And all of the cool, you know, tropically, jungly vibe on top. Now, Best part. yeah, Queen loves it. It is amazing. The big reveal. Boom. This is amazing. How cool is this? They even have a water slide. They've got a water slide, obviously, up on the second floor. Look how beautiful. I love the flowers over there, too. Look at those. Those are just gorgeous. You got the hot tub. You've got it all, baby. Even the dinosaur. You even have a dinosaur. Look at this. So there's a few dinosaurs that are, you know, hanging around. Another one is hiding over in those bushes, but I'm not gonna really show you or tell you where, because I want you guys to come here and find it for yourselves. And right here, you hit a button, and guess what happens? I'll tell you what happens. You get yourself a little projector screen, check it out. A projector. And it's for the screen that comes down. This is the best tiki light I've ever seen in my life. I actually, I know I'm behind on the game, you know, late to the game, but I just watched John Wick a couple weeks ago. Look at this. Be careful when lighting. <laughs> Gotta love, gotta love some John Wick, man. You know, you got the kids in the pool, everybody's having a good time. You're like, you know what, we're getting hungry. They've got a grill, you cook up some burgers. Yeah, they have even a dishwasher and, and a fridge. Dishwasher, fridge, you got a nice seating area, you know, for uh, older folks like us who just want to kind of relax and, <laughs> and sit back and have a cup of joe. Just, I'm telling you, the amenities here are outstanding. Now it's time to show you the outdoor activities. So we've got a mini golf course right over here. It's a nine hole golf course. And I was telling you guys earlier about how large this is, a 62 acre area. Look back there. I don't even think it really will pick up on the camera how much land that is. So you can go out there, play some football, baseball, whatever you want. They've got a beanbag toss thing over here, tether ball, a playground. There is so much to do just outside and also inside. It's insane. In case you guys do have dogs, they have the Luna Dog Park. So in case you need to have your, your pooch, you know, come for a run, go through some tubes or whatever, there's enough space for your dog to, you know, have some freedom. Also, we got a fire pit over there. We've got a volleyball net. Look at Queen all the way over there. Just to give you guys a scale of how large this area is. Another carousel. This is insane. It's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Over here, you got a you know an outdoor uh, dining area. You got billiards, that carousel. But I want to show you guys. First of all, they have a court, a basketball court over here. But I want to show you one of the coolest things: Connect Four Hoops. We're gonna go over there so I can uh, show you guys how it works. All right, guys. Time to play some Connect Four B ball. Uh, so you have red and green balls. You guys. Most likely, I would imagine, knows, know how Connect Four works. But here's the hoop. Check this out. How cool is this? 
Oh no! Oh, I almost. Yeah! Nice. Check it out, comes all the way down. Boom! Oh no! So it's pretty much the second try, the how it works. What's that? The second try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always the second one. First one, ah, no. Yeah, second try, ready? I mean the third try. Yeah! Yes! Well, as you guys can tell, and then there's little latches down here. You open it up to let all the balls out. Such a cool game. I, I was playing it earlier. So much fun. I still just can't even tell you how much space. Like guys, like it, it's like, there's nobody around you. So you can have like a family event, you know what I mean? Like, and really like, you know, we all have that uncle that gets a little loud and you know, we don't want the neighbors <laughs> calling. I'm usually that uncle. This is the place. <laughs> this is the place, cause uh, seriously, I know I keep talking about it, but it is insanely awesome the amount of space that you have, you know, at your disposal. So that will do it for the main house. Now we're gonna head to the other two houses that are probably, I don't know, 100 yards away, something like that, because this property is very, very large. Uh, so we're gonna go show you guys the awesome theming in those two buildings, so let's go check that out. All right, so this is another one, <clears throat> excuse me, of those carousels, and it does work. So you guys can use it. I'll show you guys before we head into uh, one of the... Uh... Attention parents, please <laughs> do not leave your child unattended while riding the ride. Enjoy the ride, kids. And look at that. Oh, that's <laughs> Isn't that awesome? So cool. So yes, one of three of those. Now we're going to head into the first of the two buildings. So you have the, on the left side, you have the Rocky and James Bond, and on the right side, you have the French Quarter. Which way should we go, Queen? Go to the French Quarter. Let's go to the French Quarter. All right, let's head into this amazing room. Oh <laughs> Be my guest. But this area right here is like, uh, I'm just gonna call, I don't know the exact thing, but it's like the Ratatouille nook. Look at this, and guys, don't be fooled as well. These couches, like sometimes they don't look like they're super comfortable. They are so comfy. And this is like a waiting room, like a lobby. Like a lobby. For a restaurant, so please wait to be seated. Yes, so you gotta wait to be seated. And look at this, you got, you got Remy, looking over with old petty it is so beautiful in here i love it you got like the little fire sconces on the walls the beautiful uh you know chandeliers look look at the little cart with the little with the little snacky poofs what they have here Ooh, what do they have there oh look at that look at that look at that bread that is some gorgeous looking bread and you got a, uh, a little mural here. Uh, I forget what it's called. What are they? Uh... Yeah, uh, you said. I know. I said it earlier, and now I can't remember. <laughs> uh, but it's a, but it's an amazing, amazing mural that they made, man. Um, and while you know people are waiting in here, we should probably see if there's anybody busy in the kitchen. Whew, look at this. So you got yourself a kitchen in here. Still sticking with that Ratatouille theme. Anyone can cook. And also this room, this kitchen has a little game. Oh yes, you that's have right. You a barcode and you just, you have to find like items. You have to, you have to find, that's what it is. You have to find items for Remy's uh, recipe. recipe. Yes. So, so in, some of them have numbers. So yes, that. numbers right on that onion. So if you do get an onion at the store that has a number on it, you might want, not want to eat it. <laughs> but yeah, just great, a great vibe in here. Very Ratatouille-esque. And I want to let you guys know, there are QR codes throughout the house. So if you're trying to figure out the games or, or any information, they have QR codes all throughout. So you will uh, never be confused. You know what I mean? It'll let you know how to use things, how to do things. Now, Queen, do you want to show them the bedroom? 
This bedroom this is, is my awesome. my favorite bedroom in the house. And now you can sing the song. Be, be our guest, be our guest. Do, da, da, da. It's, it's the Beauty and the Beast room. And look, Imagineering, great show. Uh, but like, this is kind of like a, a picture mirror kind of looking thing because it's got the frame on it. You got all the detail once again of the of the characters and these painted murals are just gorgeous. They are everywhere, man. And, and just well done. And this bed, I touched it. It is so squishy and comfortable. The ceiling. And the ceiling, yes. The ceiling, believe it or not, that was the thing that did it for me. I just thought that was such a wonderful touch to this room in the, in the Ratatouille room. And then you've got yourself your own personal bathroom. Hey, look, we're, we're in the mirror. <laughs> but yeah, you know, right there, keeping the whole, the whole, Beauty and the Beast vibe going on. Just a nice space in here though. I also wanted to show you guys, I just thought this was a wonderful, wonderful touch, uh, you know, from the company, Orlando Area Luxury Resorts. You got yourself a guest manual, you know, for uh, how to use the audio equipment in case you didn't want to use some of the QR codes, talk about the movie theater that we will get to. We're gonna show you guys that. Uh, Pool spa, but I wanted to show you if I can find it. There we go. So they took the time to recommend eateries around this resort. You know, th this this rental. I mean, come on, man. That is great. Like that's a great detail. They got Cuban, Italian food, Mexican food. So in case you get hungry, they've got some good, uh, you know, some some good suggestions and recommendations. Also, if you want to leave the, the, the rental, they have area, Claremont area attractions that you can check out. Just thought that was a cool detail to let you guys know. So we're going to leave the Beauty and the Beast Ratatouille room. We're going to move on to the next room that I want to show you guys. But look, you got a very cool Tiana mural here. This is gorgeous and the Ever After. They're like little Easter eggs. You can see them all over the place with the name of this rental. This is I know, and I was looking at this. He's a scary looking guy. I wouldn't mess with that frog. He looks pretty buff. It's like that old school, like, uh, book story. Yes, track. yes. It's less like Disney I and more of the real. Are you ready? I'm ready. I was born ready. Secret agents and boxers. Very James Bondy, you know, secret agent-y. Oh, and it smells so good in here. Uh, I believe it was, they told us it was like cedar wood or something like that. It smells so good. It smells very good, but this is, uh, yeah, you're definitely gonna be, you know, figuring out mysteries in this room. I feel like Sherlock Holmes almost, you know? Huge bed. Look at this, you get your little, a little office space over here. <laughs> that care, uh, care. That chair looks so comfy. The thing is, they said there was another room in here, and I don't see how you get to the other room. Like where? Maybe this one. Maybe it's through there. You're so smart. You're wicked smart. And I just want to show you guys so you guys can understand what room we're going into. The Rocky Balboa room, baby. Boom! Look at this. Oh man, so you got exercise stuff. You can, look, let out your frustration, you know, kind of give him, the, him a little tap. But the coolest thing about this is the bed. <laughs> it's a boxing ring. That is just awesome. That's amazing. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Drew, are you working out? Oh, you have to ring the. Oh, I gotta ring the bell. Ready? Game on! <laughs> 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 
Well, now that my fight is over and it's ended, I figured I'd show you guys. This is uh, this is your own. Like here's obviously the the bed where I got knocked out. Uh, they got your own personal bathroom. You got a little shower, stand up shower here. Obviously a bathroom. Really cool. Hey, there's another door. Yes, and this bathroom is connected to the other room too. So they can share it. So that was a load of fun. I hope you guys had fun with that. Oh, I hope the rain isn't gonna keep coming down. But uh, that was the end of that, that building. Now, we're gonna head on to this one and check it out. And there is a theater inside of here, which I cannot wait to show you guys. So we got Elvis locking it down in here with, I believe, Frank Sinatra. That looks like Frank Sinatra. We've got the, the movie vibe here because this is the building that has the theater in it. Oh yeah, look, and I love this. You got little like, uh, little candies, you know, to lead the way. Also showing you guys some more video games. You got pinball, uh, you know, uh, Arcade Legends, which has a couple different games on it. All free, once again. And here, is now showing Spider-Man right at home. <laughs> Sorry, Caden and James. Let's see what's in here. This is probably one of my favorite rooms in here. We have a theater. How cool is that? And if I can do it, you can adjust the lights. There we go. Oh yeah. But look at this, you got nine that can seat. And then, you know, if you have more folks, they could come down here with blankets and enjoy, enjoy a nice movie. Oh, it's awesome. I'm a big, I'm a big fan of the home theater. But look at this. Just imagine you're staying here, kicking back, relaxing, watching one of your favorite movies. How cool is that? And just these, these movie signs also really get me. I love these. Just amazing. And then I looked over here, one of my faves, Batman Returns. Underrated, in my opinion. I think it's a great film. But check out this room right here. It's a ball pit room. You got a couple beds up there. You know, if you got like multiple kids, they're gonna be fighting for this room. You got a little uh, wall you can climb on. And this is just super fun. Look at this. Boom. You can play basketball with this ball pit. And it's like probably like two feet worth of balls. And the other cool thing is the fact that you see, you see the slide right here? Yeah. We're going to have to go down that. I'm going to do that right now. I got to do it. So I'm going to be going down that slide, but I wanted to show you guys. You walk up to the second floor. The, the murals and the painting and everything, just so awesome. I love it, but you come through this little area. I want to show you, you got a little basketball game. And I'm telling you, you won't run out of things to do. You got some darts. One of my all time favorites, skee ball. So awesome. You got a sleeping, you know, a sleeping, a sleeping bed. You got a place for somebody to sleep up here and over here and happy landings slide. So here we go. It's going to be dark. <laughs> it's going to be scary. Oh my gosh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> On to the John Wayne room. Oh yeah, we got that, you know, Southwest vibe going on here. Such cool theming once again. Love the uh, the cactuses on the wall. But out of this, believe it or not, out of the whole whole room in here, my favorite thing is the fact that this is your own personal bathroom and it's the Ever After Saloon. As a kid, I've always wanted to like walk through those saloon doors, you know, seeing uh, seeing the old Westerns. It's just so much fun. And look at this sink. It's a barrel sink. 
That is awesome. Wanted. Law abiding folks to rent our other digs. The Sweet Escape, which we actually did a video on. You'll have to check that video as well from Orlando area luxury resorts. Leaving the John Wayne room, and I just want to talk about the murals again. Because this is a lot of work, and it's just beautifully done. And just so you guys know, in case you were curious, uh, the artists who do, there's multiple artists, I guess, that do the murals and paintings uh, for this uh, company's, you know, rentals. Uh, so you can look for their names. And hey, you might, you might even want to hire them at some point. Who knows? Now, we are going to go into the Tarzan room. Leopard print. It's like from wall to wall. But these are really cool. Look at these lights here. They're little monkeys. And I know that's really bright for the camera, but that is such a great idea. I've ne I, me personally, I've never seen a, a monkey light before. It's a monkey light? It's a monkey light. Can you believe that? Yeah. They're just monkeying around over here. Yeah. Oh, That's because I moved him. Oh. Because <laughs> I touched him. We yeah, have the legend of Tarzan. Oh, you see the ceiling? And the ceiling, the ceiling. I know. I love, I love it's that. Amazing. I love that. And there's a few uh, spots that they have that here at this rental. And just for your protection, they want to make sure you guys are good, you know, be protected here. They've got a tiger. <laughs> That's a big tiger. So we were just at the jungles with Tarzan. Now we were going to be magically whisked away to Egypt. Check this out. Oh, oh, this is pretty darn cool, man. That is amazing. Like very, very Egypty themed. And I, I, I seem to find like my favorite things of each room. That's my favorite thing. I mean, look. How awesome is that? That's like a photo op, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's look at this, look at this, look at this. <laughs> Great photo op. But yeah, it's, I feel like this uh, uh, Ever After is the state. It just, it covers everybody. You know, somebody loves Egypt. Somebody wants to feel like a, was it a pharaoh? Yeah. Feel like a pharaoh. But uh, you know. The detail. The detail, it's all about the detail so much of it just awesome even the closet door i know yeah get some hieroglyphs here Let's see if there's anything oh look at this oh an extra bed so an extra bed in case you don't have enough bed in case you, in case you have too many too many people wanting to stay with you and you gotta you gotta put them up for the night i wanted to note the ceiling kind of like over at the beauty and the beast area now this is a little more, uh, you know, beachy themed going on. In case you guys, you want, you want to feel like you're near the beach, you know, like a beach house. And like I said, I mean, you go from Tarzan to uh, Egypt to a beach house. Do you see what I'm? This is the thing. It's like there, there is a room for everybody. There really is. Like they, they cover all the bases, you know. Across from the beach room, in case you're staying in the beach room, they have the dressing room one, but it gets confused with the bathroom. Look at this. It is so Tuscany. Got the stand-up shower. You got a big tub. And it echoes, echoes, echoes. <laughs> Just great though. Really, really sleek in here. But you know what's really cool, Queen? I think you know is the room that's connected to it. It is the Star Wars room. You get R2, Yoda, but look at the bunk beds. It's an at-at. Wow, that is so awesome. <laughs> Here's C-3PO, okay? He helped, you know, Luke and the Rebels take care of the enemy, and now, He's just gonna hold your remote. <laughs> but hey, he's helping. He's helping. you know what? He's helping he he yeah. is helping. He is helping. And in case of fire, use the force. And always look up because there's always a ton of theming. You get some helmets up there. You got Boba Fett also in the, the corner. Ceiling. 
I know, and the ceiling is like the uh, the scroll there. Look at that. That is a dark time. That is so cool. And did you see behind you? Oh, it's <laughs> We got Han Solo in Carbonite. Man. And earlier I had brought you guys up for the slide and this is actually where you go, is from this room. And then see, look, Queen, it's you and I. Just oh, staring into the galaxy. the galaxy. I just thought this detail was, was awesome. The Twilight Zone, but you got E.T. up there. I love that. This is so cool. This place is just insane. It, that's all I gotta say, it is just insane. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, we hope you guys enjoyed this. This is insanely, an insanely cool place. I hope you get a chance to come stay here. You, I'm telling you, I highly recommend it. It is amazing. You'll have to go to or, uh, Orlando Area Luxury Resorts uh, and, and check it out. Um, we wanna thank them so much for allowing us <clears throat> to come out today and uh, and film and just have fun and uh, and just be able to show you guys how cool this place is. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the video, we hope you uh, hit that subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, and also check out some of our other, the other two Orlando area luxury resort rental videos because they are pretty darn cool as well. Uh, but thank you guys, and until we see you next time, remember, there's only one way to live. In the moment, with the ball pit. Whee!